Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Amos chapter 9, verse 14, the Bible says this. I will bring back my exiled people, Israel. And I say, instead of Israel, weka jina yako hapo. Nita kurejesha. I will bring you back means I will restore my people. Hallelujah. My people who? John, my people who? Damaris, my people who? Dramo, I cannot hear you. My people who? Hero. Salina, that is the attitude. <laughs> I will bring back my people, Jomba. And they will rebuild the cities and live in them. Sam, I will rebuild whatever I lost. So God, when God wants to bless you, before giving you something new, God helps you to regain what you lost. Kama mungu anataka kubariki kweli, atakurejeshea kwanza ulichopoteza kabla kukupatia kitu kipia. Sema amen. So the promise of God upon this year, the Bible says that I will bring back my exiled Israel and they will rebuild their own cities and live in them. Hallelujah. Not only build, but build them good enough that you can live in them. Hallelujah. God is good. And the Bible says that they will plant vineyards and drink their wine. God is good. You will do your projects and you will see the fruition of them in Jesus' name. Whatever you initiate, we shall not backfire along the way, shall not end in regret, but you will enjoy the product of it in Jesus Christ's name. Let the Holy Spirit lead you into what to do, that you will bear, that you'll, you'll enjoy the fruits in this season in Jesus Christ's name. Say my amen. amen. And you will make gardens and eat of their fruit. Hallelujah. Verse 15 says this, I will plant Israel in their own land. Never again, that is a promise of God, never again to be uprooted from the land that I have given them, says the Lord your God. Say my amen. amen. The, the Lord says that he is going to give us possession. And uh, this time, we are not going to be talking of stagnation. We are not going to be talking of losing whatever we have gotten in Jesus Christ's name. I know what that means. And to explain for to you, I am one who studies the times. Mimi usoma sana nyakati. 2020, God introduced me to the world. 2021, towards the end of it, God gave me money and tested me with money. There is difference between money and kingdom provision. Hallelujah. God gave me money to expose my heart to me. Okay? Two or three ways, they are the Chinese and, uh, and uh, the Chinese and something else was coming from the UK. And God gave me money to test my heart to prepare me. Because if God gave me kingdom finance and I blunder, hakuta kuwa na But God gave me money and then, oh, then after that, he used that money to prepare me for kingdom finance. God is good. So I know God is uh, now telling me that the people, they are coming, those people who now, who give offering a nyumba sasa. Man of God, here is the document for the house. You can sell it. So God, first of all, gives you money and prepares you for the stage that is coming. So I know what is coming. Hallelujah. And now God says that now where you are going, when you make a step forward, you will not go back. Amen. That is your portion also in Jesus' name. Amen. When you make a move, you will not go back in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will make a step. God will secure you there. Then God will give you the grace to make another step. Then he will secure you there and give you the grace to make another step. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Destiny is being realigned in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every star that has been shut is being released to shine in Jesus' name. Amen. The foundation for a new season. Say my amen. Seasons change. <coughs> Number one, based on the will of God. Seasons change. Number one, based on the will of God. Hallelujah. At times, the will of God is to cause people to believe that Jesus is alive. And when it is the season for the Spirit of God to cause the people to believe in God, those seasons are full of testimonies. 
Those seasons are seasons of predictable and sustainable results as the season that we are getting into now. There are seasons of judgment. Seasons of judgment is like a season that we've been in from the year 2020 when COVID came. When COVID came, no matter how anointed you are, if you had opened a hotel business, that hotel business was shut down before the end of 2020. No matter how anointed you are, no matter how spiritual, no matter how prayerful you are, it was a season of judgment, hotel business was failing. You understand? That was a season of judgment where no matter how good you are, your goodness was not going to be seen based on the results that are coming out of your life. That was a season of judgment. We cannot do anything during such seasons except to be led by God through his spirit on actions that will allow us to survive. We cannot do anything except actions led by the spirit of God that will enable us to survive. Hallelujah. So we are in a season where the promise of God is that our destiny is being taken back to its line. There is a business person here that business is your destiny. But come 2020, the season of judgment, you lost everything. Everything totally. Now, kakuja ukijiuliza, kweli ni metiwa biashara. It is for people like you that God is going to lead you back to the path of your destiny and you will once again know prosperity from your work, the work of your business. Say my amen. There are people who are here, COVID separated your marriage. Husband could not feed you. You could not feed husband. You went to your people, husband went to their people. God is good. You know during that time, 2020, there were so many cases of domestic violence. You remember? Watu kukatakata mabibi likuwa the order of the day. Now, there are marriages that were split because it was a season of judgment, but God is willing and intending to take you back to the path of destiny that concerns your marriage. Say my amen. Are you getting it? In Angia, simple, eh? God is good. This is that season where maybe your gift went silent. We know even musicians, artists went bankrupt during such the, the seasons that passed. God is good. Because people were producing, artists were producing music, and they are hoping itaisha, alafu, we start doing shows, alafu mziki yako inasikika, mpaka inaisha, kama ujafanya show. <laughs> God is good. God is taking people back to the path of success in Jesus' name. By God's grace, I was known in 2020, I started being known. 2021, 2022, I, I partook what people are partaking during the season of judgment. But now I know, and I have expected results. I have what I expect for this year in Jesus Christ's name. I know what I'm expecting financially. I know what I'm expecting in terms of ownership. I know for one thing that this year now, at the end of the year, the Lord spoke that the grace that you're coming into is the grace for ownership. God is good. Me, I don't own land. Me, even now, I don't own land. <laughs> Hallelujah. The land that we have belongs to my great-great-grandfather and does not even have a number. God is good. But the Lord is saying that grace for ownership. That is a blessing personally. Ambayo iko juyangu. Grace for ownership. Grace for ownership. God says that this is the season that people are bringing title deeds and people are bringing logbooks and people are bringing ownership certificates because this is the season. And not for me to eat and to grow fat, but to use for the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. So now we are in a new season. How should we act or how should we manage the foundation of this season? Because we are at the base, the foundation of this season. God is good. Number one, number point number one. Okay? We are getting into a new season, the foundation for a new season. And what is important whenever there is change for a season is to get the scriptural prophecy or prophecy for the season. God is good. You get prophecy for the 
season. There is prophecy from a chosen vessel who has received the message from God and there is a prophecy based on scripture. God tells servant of God, go to the book of Amos. So this scripture that is on the, the card is the second scripture from Amos. Otherwise, the first scripture from Samuel, Amos was chapter 6 verse 1. God has been talking to me, go to Amos. The word for the year is coming there. So number one, either a vision that this is what is going to take place or God gives you a scripture. And you know, when God gives you a, a scripture that is yours, it will connect to your heart. Amen? Do, do you understand? You can read a scripture and it just gets to your head. But there are once in a while you get a scripture and you feel this scripture entering you. You are soaking it like a sponge. It is doing something to your heart and to your mind. This must be God speaking to me. Hallelujah. So when we are getting into a new season, get the prophecy for the season. What is God doing? Not what you want God to do, but what is God saying that he will do? God is good. Because when the man of God led us in 2020, that it is the year of, the season of fear. It is the season, we are getting into the season of fear. Other people are declaring double portion. <laughs> because that is what you want to see. People are, de de people are declaring many things. God is good. But then the man of God, Prophet Ibi told us, we are entering a season of fear. Guy. But when the man of God says it is a season of fear, me, it came to my heart immediately. I will survive this fear. And that is where the time I started to do charity like a madman. And by God's grace, we got to survive that season of fear. Now get the prophecy for the season. God is good. And I want to give you just a few scriptures that you will read for yourself that are for this season. Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 3. We have read Amos. Deuteronomy. You have scattered this mountain long enough. Turn northward and command my people saying, you are about to pass through the territory of your brethren in Esau. Who lives in Seir? They will be afraid of you. Watch yourselves carefully. Say my amen. amen. God is good. Now, Amos is there. Deuteronomy is another word that God spoke to complete the message. You have been here long enough. It is time to move. You have been here. Some have been here long enough. Here long. Shout it like somebody who's been there too, for too long. I've been here long Hallelujah. Yeah. And let me tell you, don't think that it is. Najua kuna wale mna tukanga mna na watu kuna magari hapa kwa parking. Nuna sema ungekuwa kama hao. There are people who have vehicles there and they have been there long enough more than you. God is good. God is good. The Lord says you have been here long enough. It is time to gather yourself and to move. Say my amen. amen. Isaiah 43, 18, 19. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Write it, you go and connect those scriptures together. See, I am doing a new thing. Declare a new thing. This is happening over my life. Over my life. In Jesus' name. So point number one, when you're getting into a new season, when you're getting into a new season, is to get the prophetic word for that season. Hallelujah. Don't, many Christians fail because we guess or we act based on the situations. Nimsimo mtoto wako kuenda form 1. Kuna shule mtoto wako naeza enda form 1, agonjeke for 4 years. Kuna shule mtoto wako naeza enda form 1, buwana yesu wazifiwe. Na ulizo ulipeleka mtoto wapi. Na ukimtoa hapo, hapo ndo destiny yake imenyoka. When a new season, we are getting into a new season, get the mind of God. Get the mind of God. Hallelujah. God will speak to you through a dream. Kama unataka kujua. If you sincerely want to know. You know, at many times God is silent because we are commanding him on what to do. Mungu fungu anjia. Nipeleke mtoto wangu kwa national school. Nipeleke mi si kusoma national school. Si kusoma provincio. Si kusoma district. Nidisoma ruare. Ile kwa shule pale kingongo, pale nyeri. Aiko ata classified. During those days, you would go there without doing KCP, unofanya interview na wingie yo shule. Praise the name of the father. But let me tell you something. You know what my father had done? When I was in class 8, I want to say something that is against the law. 
I must look at the officer to see if she will harm me. <laughs> when I was in class 8, my father said, ah, this is my boy, he's, he's intelligent. But if, here in Nyeri, the competition is high. Let me register him for exam back at home so that he make attempt for serious school. So we were attempting Maseno. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I went there and during those years, I was, not very, I was not the most stupid person. I got 482 and I got entry into Agorosari High School. And for those who come from Nyanza, you know Agorosari is cream. Is cream. Hallelujah. That is a scream. But my destiny was not to be in Agorosare. Because in Agorosare, I was number 24. But that year, 19 people got A plane. So it means I could have gotten an A minus. Nigepata A minus, I've gone to university. Niende Ngambo na Niende Huko. I'd been now speaking the Queen's language and away from Kangemi. And God was not going to allow that. You understand? My destiny was Endarware. Sawa sawa. Kutana na wale wa musho. Because wale watu, if you survive Ruare, in future you will survive Kangemi. That was the plan of God. Blessed be the name of the Father. That was the plan of God. If I survive Ruare, because foundation was DB Muslim primary school, that school, that <laughs> by the time we were in class two, America was bad. It was a Muslim school during those days. I don't know if that school still exists. Amen? But then God takes me to Ruare where I learn the problems of life very well in the village. God is good. Now, during such a time, now we are Christians. You're not supposed to go through what my father went through. He was all ten and you know I was as expelled. Have I ever told you why I was expelled in Agorosare? I was caught strangling another from one because he was refused to pay me five shillings. Nilikuwa nanyonga from one shilingitano. God is good. And God used that five shillings. And that from one, he's called Leonard Aluko. I think he's the chairman of domestic worker something something today. I was strangling him. Now he's a serious man in society. And you know, my CV was so bad that years later I met somebody who I was in school with. To Kiwa Ten, Alikuwa Nendesha by Skelly. Hakaniona, if you say, Alan, Ali Giusa by Skelly, come and make him beer. But am I a bad person? Hmm. But Five Bob got me expelled and took me back to destiny. Now, during, when you get the prophetic word, how you, you struggle to get what God is saying. At times, God will speak through the money in your pocket. You don't even have enough money to do something, but that is what God is using to speak to you what, the, what God wants you to do. Say my amen. You want to take your child to a so-so school, you want to start so-so business with so-so money, but that is not the will of God for you. At times there's constraint. Unakuta kwamba umepungukiwa, na kupungukiwa is what is taking you to the will of God. Pray. When you think, don't get stressed. Ah, God, please do this. How will people know that I serve a living God? No, you serve a living God. But at times this living God wants you to start from zero. Hallelujah. God wants you to start with what is at your disposal. God is going to save the Israelites, but the tool, the investment that Moses needs is a rod in his hand. He wrote, this is what will split the Red Sea. This is, the, this is everything that he needs. Hallelujah. So get the word what God is speaking. Like now you are going to pray. There is a plan that you have. Align yourself to God's plan. Go and pray. Pray. And a wombe. And I've told you something that we must apply to people. Ambao I hear or people looking are watching me online. That what you have is the voice of God. The luck that you lack in your pocket is the voice of God. It's not a curse. It's not the work of Satan. It is the leading of God. That one. Because if you have a million, God wants you to start by 50,000. You are outside the will of God. But when you have 50,000 and in the will of God at, the end of God, at the end of it, you will say, the Lord took me through it. I made it through, but I don't know how. One thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it through. Amen. 
God is good. I don't know, but Jehovah took it over. When he leads you from the beginning, at the end of it, watakuwa nakuuliza and you just tell them, it is God. It is God. It is God. Let God lead you. Get what, apart from this one, kana mungu muulize, concerning this family, concerning this, and let me tell you, God will tell you anything. God will give you an instruction. I told the people ambao walikuwa hapa before, the Lord told me leo expressly, any tithe or offering that is getting through this church today, through those buckets, give it. Usitoke na kwa ibada. Now I've, I've tied myself, even if you give 500,000, I'm giving it. <laughs> God is good. But one thing that I've learned from the Lord, the Lord only asks for a sacrifice when he wants to take you to another dimension. Amen. The Lord accepts sacrifices when he wants to turn your life around. And I know my life is turning around in Jesus' name. Amen. My life will reflect the seed that God has planted in me. In Jesus' name. I will get predictable and sustainable results. In Jesus' name. Say my amen. amen. Now, one thing about prophecy, when you get prophecy, that thing that I've just spoken now, prophecy must be engaged through discipline. When God speaks a word, Lot, go. Go. And the instruction was, don't look behind. Sindio? Then somebody decided to look behind because he had a jiske and bibi mkubwa. He had mama pastor. And she looked behind. And what happened? She turned to a pillar of salt. Hallelujah. When we are in a season and you know that the word that you are receiving is because of that season, getting out of that word will mean you're getting out of that season. Do you get it? Get a word of God and engage it with discipline and you will be blessed. Say my amen. amen. Point number two. Number one was prophecy. Number two. This one has a few points. Hallelujah. Identify your desired end. You're in a new season. At the end of this season, at the end of this year, Identify your desired end and the price needed to pay. And in price, I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about seed. Identify your desired end. Where do you want to be at the end of this year? And now, this one, we call it New Year Resolution in the common. But now, year, New Year Resolution is half. If it is a resolution, you must also identify the price you need to pay to get it right. Say my amen. Hallelujah. Umepata hapo. Identify. Me, by the, by the, I looked at my Facebook page and I saw 65,000 followers. And I said, ah. I felt in my heart that this, this following should get 1 million in this year. You should get what? One million. That is where this point started. Get it? Eh? We are building it to a point. And I saw the salvation today. And though they say that 2021 people got saved 900, and uh, this 2022 people got saved 1,400. And I told God that this one could have a point equal 1.4 million. But now, when it has come to I desire 1.4 million to get saved, and I desire my Facebook page to have a million followers. What is the price that needs to be paid? If I get the 1 million followers and I get the 1.4 million saved, it means I have become successful. You get? God is good. Hallelujah. And there I sit down and I start to meditate. If this is called success, how will I get this success? Shall I pursue success? And the Holy Spirit speaks to me and tells me, you do not pursue success in such matters. You do not pursue breakthrough in such matters. Success and breakthrough 
will be attracted to you based on what you are becoming. Success, hallelujah, I do not pursue it, or success or greatness, but rather I attract it based on what I am becoming. Me as a servant of God, if I say I start pursuing success, ni kumanisha nanza kupandisha watu mbegu. Ni kumanisha I will start manipulating people. But to have true success or good success even as a servant of God, what I become is what will attract people to me. God is good. Now the fullness of the servant of God in this season is not miracles alone and it is not the grace to teach alone. For me, okay? We have seen miracles for 10, 15 years. Now, that miracles, those miracles need to be combined with the grace to teach, to have something enter the ears of these people receiving miracles, enter their heart and enter their mind, to develop them, to develop their character, develop their confidence in God. Hallelujah. So I know that my success will be dependent on what I am becoming when we talk about what? Developing in the realm of the spirit. When the sick come, they are healed. And also developing mentally, developing intellectually, so that these people who come, they can have something to take home in their mind and in their heart. Hatuta kuja kanisani tuwanza subi mpaka mjioni miujiza, miujiza, mungu wa metenda, mungu wa litenda. There is somebody who will come who is not sick. Who is not sick and is a billionaire. But he loves the presence of God. He needs to sit comfortable and get something. That is what I require for my season. Say my man. I say it is drawn. Success, greatness is drawn by becoming. By, based on what you are becoming. Say my amen. You know, they are you now. Somebody wants to be a wife. Somebody wants to be a husband. God knows tomorrow. You know, some people just want to be a wife to that wonderful, loving man. But you don't know the tomorrow of that man. You don't know if, who knows when cancer is coming. There may be cancer iko kombele, and what will save that man is your spiritual growth. It is you to grow so that when you hear that cancer has knocked, you can confidently say that he who is in me is greater than he who produces cancers. It will take some level of growth. Say my amen. Now, there are results that are written on your name but cannot come to this version of you. Are you getting me? There are blessings property, marriage, good things that are written on you but that cannot come to this version of you. Are you getting something? Are you getting something? There is a level of anointing that is supposed to be my end. Because me, what God showed me when he was sending me to Kangemi, specifically in Hikuja Kangemi, I saw people without limbs. Na vidole zikianza kumea. Hallelujah. So that level of anointing is written on me. Raising the dead. These mantles are supposed to raise the dead in your village. Man of God, I am coming. Hey, nimefika Nairobi. Just give me mantle. The person has died. You take it. Yigia kwa gari. Enda weke. Ah, true. I'm supposed to walk in that level of anointing. But there is something that God sees in me that makes him uncomfortable to release that blessing in this version of me. And that one takes you to that place where as a child of God, yes, you believe, but there is more to do other than believing. There is work that you need to work to get you to that place or to that realm where God is comfortable to give you that blessing. Say my amen. Jesus says, I work the work of my father. While it is there, Jesus is working. Hallelujah. If Jesus says he is working, how can you now say that you are just believing? Yes, I believe. But what will show that I truly believe are the actions I take. Yes. The actions I take that will expose my faith, my belief. Amen. Are you getting something? Yes. There are blessings on you. Niako. And some people, they are blessings that are 10 years late. Because where you have been, the version of you has been the same for 10 years. You know, I had this message, so I was sitting in the car and I'm seeing people 
coming. So I see somebody coming when they're about to begin praise. Then five minutes later, I see the same person turn and I can be a quaduka ko barabara and say, Oh, <laughs> after God has given me this message, I say, well, when will this person start to get blessed? The, this version of this person, what level of blessing can it attract? God is good. When we talk about attracting and what we need to do, there's what we call problem. Do you know there are problems that belong to certain realms? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna shida ambazo hautaomba utoke ndani ni wewe utatoka kwa hiyo anga. Based on growth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday we were having that discussion with my brothers there. And we were laughing at how we used to look for houses before. So when we looked, we wanted to look for a house. The first thing was Choni Saf Yamani Chafu. Meaning that any house we were looking for, the toilet was communal. Ilikuwa watu wote. Na bafu zao zinakaaje. Then kuswali ingine, na geti nafungwa saa angapi. Kama uko hapo, nakuna shukuru mungu kwa sababu yako wa. Kama bado u... <laughs> Hawezi enda, ukienda kesha na bidi urudi ya subuhi watu, wa, watu wanatoka saa kumi, wei na bidi ngoje saa kumi na mbili jia geti enyu I understand you well, I've been there Sema amen. amen But you know Praying to God that I want a house Where, they don't, where the toilet is not shared Where the bathroom is clean where the gate is not locked, I have my own or I have my own key. That would have been nonsense. Because when you get to a certain place in your finances, automatically you will leave that realm and go to somewhere else. You understand? If I get somewhere in my finances, see itaji kuomba ruhusa, and takuja ni click na nseme amuta nifungia gate siku ingine, na wende utafute nyumba. God is good. Now, there are, there, are, there are results that come to your life because you leave certain realms. Unazitokea. Buwana Yesu Christo Sifiwe. Now, another example. Let me see that this thing is here. If I bring my one-year-old uh, son, that one in the half one, that servant of God, for him to access this thing, labda angushe hii. Hallelujah. But this thing is there and it belongs to his father. Niyake. Nikikuta mtutayawenyewe nayo ntachukua. It is his. But now, he can push this thing and access it. Or he can grow. But the faculty of growth, by the grace to grow, he can get to a place where he can now just take it and go with it. Say my man. There are things that will happen to your life just based on growth. Tell your neighbor, seek to grow. Seek to grow. We are here and I bless the Lord for you. And we are praying for things. But I want you, because this one, can I tell you how God spoke to me on becoming a teaching priest? God has been coming to me in the dreams for a while. Now, I give you a small story on the side. In Form 4, I was in Ruare and I got a C. Plus. I missed four points to get a B minus. And I was number four. The best position I had ever been in that Ruare was number 24. I was a, a, such a fool. There are times I was show kartasi without being marked. Like I was in the marks. You know the teacher does not waste their time. And I was in eight. God is good. Then when we are getting to the mock, we combine with my friends. Patrick uh, of Pat Bishop uh, Concepts is a video man now, and another one who is a senior at KWS now, and another one who is a teacher. And we say that, ah, Bwana si lazima tuanguke. We say, si lazima tufaya nini? And we, we, we sat down and developed a strategy. Na tukasema kwamba how watu tunasoma now, if we keep coming to this school every day, we will fail like all of them. So we decided to stop coming to school. And uh, that is the one time my father allowed me to do something illegal. My father was one of those people. Nikambea shuleni watu wanacheza tu please. Tutakua tunasoma hapa ama kuenda library. 
So one day we are at Patrick's home, the other day we were at our home, and uh, if people are coming to your place, you have to have a budget. The budget was one or one super deep, no matter the dog. Not just super deep. If you are from a group of schools, you cannot know super deep. Super deep, and uh, so this is how we studied. And let me tell you, that was for the last two months of my, my time at that school. And I read Nilisoma. Nilisoma, when I was going to do my last exam, which was uh, commerce, I believe, that Friday, my system refused and I fainted. And my father, because I don't say that I was sick, he came and in Usia. That was very offensive to me. And by that time, I was going to go to Pombe. But you know what happened? I had a D minus in the mock, but I had a C plus in the exams. Effort. So this dream has been coming for a couple of years. Then I told you I, have a, I had a crash call for three weeks preparing for this year. Then when I was studying and studying and soaking, and the Lord speaks to me, my son, you see, when you study, you really soak. And that is what God told me, I want you to soak so that you become a teaching priest from the year that is coming. Say my amen. amen. Now, if God's requirement for my blessing is for me to read, to understand, to soak, to get the word of God, to get the versions of other preachers for this season and for those that passed, there is no fasting that could have given me that blessing. Kama mungu nataka usome, hakuna kufunga ningefunga nikapata hiyo baraka. Na ningeipata kwa kufunga ningeipoteza. Hallelujah. See, God wants to give me leadership of a nation based on what I am becoming. Not what I'm throwing my hands and say I receive. But based on what I am becoming. And I ask this question as I leave this point. What are you? And what are you becoming? What is the requirement for that next level of blessing that you are going into? When we see the best of the best, up in Jaduniani, man people, you should give me something small for mentioning your team. We have that guy called Haaland. There's a footballer called Haaland who has scored 21 goals before December, and that is the record. But leave alone those goals. We were shown him training in a desert somewhere. I know I didn't follow as a football washer on a year. Well, it was a train kwa jangwa. When people are training in soft grass, he was running like a madman in a very dry place. And he calls himself a Viking. He trains like the Vikings. But now, what he becomes there, akikuja hapa kwa kiwanja na inya sienyu soft. Inyu wote ni kama watoto kwake. See, he's getting records based on what he's becoming. Hallelujah. We know of great singers who make noise in the bathroom for a season. Then after a season, wanataftanga kiwanja maka nisaikotu bure warusiwe tu kufungua sauti yapo. And they make thorough noise. Then now people apply, man of God, can we come and we be trained by your team? Umesha zeeka, umegonga miyaka ngapi. Where were you when people were training? I don't have time to train people now. <laughs> God is good. But what you want to be, work on your th transformation, inward and outward. And there are things that will take shape automatically in your life. Say my amen. amen. Hallelujah. So remember, the point is, greatness and success is what you become, but is what you attract, not what you become. What you attract based on what you are becoming. Hallelujah. There are results that cannot come to this version of you. Those are main points. Hallelujah. There are rules that you change by the living the realm where those rules apply. Okay? There are rules that you change by living the realm where those rules apply. Nimetoa example ya hiyo ya nyumba. Wewe utashinda ukipigana na landlord asikufungiange gate. Sik arise above that place pa kufungiwa gate and go to another place. Hallelujah. Unashinda ukikasirika vile watu na kasi umechokesha watu na kelele kwa ploti. 
vile unachafua cho rise above the rim where people share toilet that is where we all began okay most of us hallelujah and i told you i washed the toilet that we use for 7 years 2010 to 2017 i washed it for the community and in the toilet is where you discover that people don't really get born again watu hawakokangi kuna watu you get to the church we are all sitting there then what you discover in the toilet say he we need to be concerned to i used to wash the toilet for 7 years mimi huyu and say what a kuosha there's a time it got filled you know the septic get filled na ni septic za kienyeji imechimbwa tu na ina smiti huku na huku so it means the thing soaking and it was full and one day we took away that thing hallelujah with the Moragi and Lawrence who are no longer here tukachimba hiyo kitu mpaka saa 7 usiku unaguza pupu hivi unakuta ni yellow I, and i did it so do, usisha, when i say that uh, my house has many toilets wachana na mimi work to get out of that realm hallelujah there are realms that you leave hallelujah there are resources that you cancel there are situations you cancel hallelujah you leave that realm amen there was no option sasa tutaleta anisaka utatoa pesa hapo anisaka na rent yenyewe huwezi lipa god is good and we took that thing and we tukaimwaga kwa hiyo mtaro ilikuwa hapo na murage tukanua mbao na magogo na tukaijenga and we started life afresh god is good but that is you know how i share with you when mwenye kwa situation i used to do that na ungekuta nikifanya ungefikiri mimi ni professional toilet chotara <laughs> uginipata na kashot kanafika hapa na ndo <laughs> You, you think I'm a professional but what is happening in my heart is that Lord Jesus let this add me point because this is not my level this is not my level hallelujah when you clean it you clean that toilet you clean you know I told people I was telling my people the other day and they laughed at me that I learned to hear God nikiwa kwa cho kuna wakati ningekaa nitafute solution ya kitu and I'm not getting it ningechukua ndoo na fikiria ya kufagia niende kwa choo because that place when I was zero I used to hear God Bwana Yesu asifiwe but then you remind yourself that I am here sema I am here because this is the level that God has seen fit Hey umesikia hiyo Unajembe niko hapa maana hapa ndio bwana ameona natosha. And my brother will tell you I used to say that hapa ndio Mungu ameona tunatosha. Then work hard. Pray the whole night like a madman. Mchana. See God watch the church. We had a church that is slightly less than this one. Kidogo tu because it was big. The size of it was big. It could do about 200 people. But that church I washed it for years. Monday. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wednesday and Friday. And you know niko peke yangu na jichotea. The other time the people saw me mopping this place na wakashangaa sana. The, 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 there's nothing to do here. Hallelujah. I used to mop it na i mop. Na unajua kama na umekizima na wewe ndio pasa hiyo kanisa. Na watu wako kazi. Na mvua inyeshe na watu watatoa viatu wataingia tu nazo. Hallelujah. I mopped. I didn't have this lesson that I'm teaching today. But something in me used to tell me that there's a place that if I get to in the spirit, vitu zitabadilika. If it is humility that God wants, because at times you will be stopped by your level of humility. Kama ni humility Mungu anataka acha nikae kwa choo. Hakuna kitu kitanifundisha humility zaidi ya hicho. Hallelujah. If it is service There is nothing better than mopping doing what is not expected but something in me used to tell me that situation will change Hallelujah and that is why now today I I take back the history of where I'm coming from and I put it as a point Hallelujah that there are resources that cannot come to the version of you that is here now There are things that written on you but they cannot come to this version of you. There is anointing that is supposed to be there. There is fame, popularity that is supposed to come but not to this version of you. Simungo bariki. In the scripture we find somebody like Joseph. 
He's meant to be a prime minister. But the version of him, ambayo kazi yake ni kuangalia mandugu zake na kushitaki kwa Yakobo, hainge kwa prime minister. You understand? The version of him that get dreams na kuenda kuiropoka for. Because when you mature, you know their dreams not to tell your enemy. That version of him ya kuropoka could never have gotten to the throne. Hallelujah. Then God creates classes for him. Tipi Joshua used to say that God chooses what you go through, but allows you to choose how you go through it. And he does not take it as a disappointment, but he takes it as, as classes. Let me not tell you something. Si kwamba hayumizangi. Si kwamba hayumizangi. But then you just understand what God is doing and you soldier on. God is good. See kwamba hayumi. <laughs> Hallelujah. And let me tell you, there are situations that God releases at certain intervals that are, can be so painful, but they are the qualifying test for your next level. You see me here preaching. I tell you, I've had a toothache the last two days. Me, I've never had a toothache. The last time I had a toothache was in high school. I don't even remember it. Then the Lord tells me that uh, you are getting into a greater window of healing. Me, I had you from experience. Mungu akiniambia level yako ya kuponyaji na pona, inaenda kupanda juu. Naanza kutafuta ugonjwa wangu inatoka wapi? I know if God speaks that healing is going to another level, sickness must touch me. God is good. I had a toothache. I had a problem with the gum. You imagine, you know, you can imagine the gum, ifure, ifure mpaka itoboke, itoke usa. I have that hole, that was two days ago. So you see me sweating here, some of it is pain. But my pain is not unto death. There is a special grace for healing that is coming. So I will not complain, and I know this one is not for hospital. Hini akusafa, because hospital will help me, but I need to suffer it out. God is good. But that I've been taught by experience. Amen? I was there praying for people on Friday, and my people, they see me praying, na miujiza, watu wanatapika, but I was hurting from the head to the hand. But I, I didn't talk about it to them. I finished the session. May I go and say, hey, 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 hey. A police officer has come from Karen, and you know the people that are at Karen there. I see now, Ali Tapika, Ali Bingirika. Now, we will not to Funge Jicho Simangalia. Now, if I'm hurting like this and a miracle is happening, what does it mean? That my hurting is the will of God. Because if it is the will of Satan, no miracle will take place. You understand? My people, you understand? Yeah, you understand? God is good. Now, this one just comes as a point. For you to get to where God wants to do new things, unafa kujichunga sana. Take care of the old mentality. And I was thinking about this man at the pool of Bethesda. 38 years, this man has been sick. For 38 years, Jesus Christ comes to him. You read John chapter 5, you read it at your own time. Jesus comes and asks, uh, the verses, Jesus heard that he had been in that situation for long, Yesu Kakuja. Do you want to get healed? And I look at this man's answer, and for the first time, nilikasirika kasikasi. Ama kasirika rikirike. This man, do you want to get healed? Uh, every time the water gets stirred, somebody jumps there before me. Oniko, niko tu. But the, the, the master wants to do something fresh. But the baggage of what you're carrying is what is stopping you. My God, there are things that you need to unlearn in this season. Kuna vitu you need to unlearn in this season. God is good. Na sisi, na mimi nisha kula sukuma mwakamzima. Ikichanganyo na maragwe, that was the best thing. Hallelujah. Then you know, I, something I tell you, I've never told you kwa your season. I was afraid of daring to buy meat. Because I was used to problem. He ninunue nyama alafu kesho nitakula nini? Hii pesa tuiwache tukula kule it was cool. Then one day this thing hits me. Enda tu ununue nyama. It is God who provides for you. Na nikanunua nyama and the other meal God provided. 
Na kesho yake Mungu aka provide. Na baada siku mbili tukanua tena nyama. Na tukakuta kwamba God still provides. At times <laughs> you are at that new level but your mentality can hold you back there. Kuna watu unaweza kuta umejifunga kwa nyumba ya mabati but you have the grace to live in a better house but because you think your economy is controlled by you ndio umebaki hapo God tells you look for a house unaota ndoto kwa nyumba kazuri look for a house and move Mzema shetani nimekuona <laughs> Unataka nitafute nyumba kubwa nifungiwe ndio ucheke <laughs> God is good Your old mentality must go. Must go. Hallelujah. It ma, at times it becomes a prison. Hallelujah. Mlikuwa mnanua ngombe na zinakufa. Now you are a child of God in church for six months umeenda vizuri kabisa. We, tunaenda tunanua ngombe saizi zinauzwa vizuri. He. Kitone shikuaga, zinakufanga. Zinakufanga zote. Blessed be the name of the Father. There are times you need to master courage and say Mungu nanunua mbuzi moja and I'm buying this goat and I'm sowing a seed for it and I'm anointing it and it shall not die but as pro, as, as as cattle show the productivity of Abraham this one will multiply and show my productivity because the blessing one thing with the blessing of God somewhere tu wanyama na mashamba zinakuanga Hallelujah you take courage because there are so many people that are fearful you 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 are told can you Now I'm saying I'm giving the whole offering. The last time I gave the whole offering we were in this church. Up and down. I gave everything. But now the Lord has said now not only today. God has said from now henceforth the first tithe and offering that comes through the church every year you will be giving out all of it. Hautakula. Simkuwa na imani kidogo. Hao watu wanaona kama wameshaka kosa fair kwa nyumba. <laughs> God is good. But now if I've not embraced Jesus as Jire my provider, can I obey? If I've not embraced Jire as the one who knows who owns my life, can I obey such an instruction? Guy. Sasa nikikuwa nafikiria nilifikiri watakuwa tarehe mbili tatu. Haki karibu wajae tena yote ni peana. No. But I know when God asks you something, God wants to open a door for another realm. I know that by experience. If this is not the year of Kangemi Primary School, the tithe of Kangemi Primary School ibaki hapo. God is good. Hallelujah. So enter and cancel yourself. <laughs> Let the old mentality. Amen. Some of you have been church. Mko na neema hata kuna kitu mganga anaweza kufanyia. But ukisikia tu mtu amekutisha naenda kitui. Hata sasa kuna message tu hapa. There are messages here. Man of God, mtu amesema that somebody has said they are going to so so place. Those messages come to me every day from Christians. I delete those. those ones I don't answer. If you ever sent me a message concerning a witch doctor unajua I never answered you. Because a Christian should know his faith. God is good. That old mentality wamekuwa kituroga, waliua babangu, waliua shangazi yangu, waliua nani? But you, he who is in you now is greater than he who is in the world. You should get courage. Nunua kuku peleka nyumbani. Sema mwenye atajaribu kuroga hii kuku round yeye ndiye atakufa. Ama kile atasema ifanyike huko itamfanyikia yeye. Badala ya manyoya ya kuku yako kuanguka yeye ndiye anguke nywele. Akuja ni akwambie nipeleke pa, kuna pahali ulienda nipeleke. Si ndio? Na si hapo Yesu atakuwa amepata nafsi? In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. You know at times even mchawi mmoja anahitaji kukufa ndio wao cha wengine waokoke. Hallelujah. They are doing experiment. There are times you take money kwa hiyo chukua unawaogopanga they do give them that money and say Jesus Christ I give this money out of love. Out of anything else can be touched but out of love always rogwa ukarogeka if it is out of love. Napatia huyu mama by love. What if they try to do anything? Wao ndio watatangaza kwamba uko na Mungu wako hai. Remove the old mentality. Say amen. amen. God is good. But another point is work on your attitude. Say my attitude. Say my attitude. Work on your attitude. Say my attitude. attitude. Hallelujah. Now attitude I don't know. I didn't get the description for attitude in there. Hallelujah. 
But concerning art, there's a post that I posted. The Lord told me to study two animals, the eagle and the lion. And I was studying the eagle and the lion katikati a wiki. There's a day I was just studying the lion and the eagle for two days. And I discovered something concerning the lion. A meditation. That the lion is not the biggest animal in the jungle. I'm a lion of the biggest. Lion of the strongest. Lion of the fastest. Actually, there is no, there is nothing in the lion physically that we can say that the lion is the most superior in the jungle. But what the lion has that the other animals does not have is attitude. The elephant is strong, but when the lion looks at the elephant, what the lion sees is lunch. The tallest animal. But when the lion sees, <laughs> sees a giraffe, he sees lunch. And you know something with the cat and the dog family? They don't know how to, to hide when they want food. So I was looking at the documentary, Simba Imehona, Simba Imehona Elephant TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Elephant is superior in weight. Elephant is superior. Hallelujah. But this lion is superior in attitude. Na kitu kingine tena on the side of the elephant. Elephant is big. Elephant is all those things. But the, when the elephant looks at lion, attitude ya mwanga nini? Ita. Guy, mtu akurukula hii kitu inakulanga dove. Hallelujah. So attitude Say my amen. amen. There are things that you desire, wengi wenyu. But even the way you are praying your prayers, you are praying prayers of timidity that will never bear results. God is good. Can I tell you something? There's a lady called Catherine Kuhlman, a general who passed on in 1979 or 78. And in her biography, autobiography, which you write for yourself, she says that there are prayers that God answered on her behalf. Not that they were supposed to be answered, but because of her courage and the way she knocked on heaven. Mungu nataka pesa kuenda Italy kufanya shopping. God, you are my father. You are my provider. The Bible says that you have cattle on a thousand hills. I need one cattle or two to travel. And she used to knock heaven's door. And at the end of life, she says that she now discovers that it was a good thing. It was not a good thing. But based on her courage, there are results that she was able to get. Now, this one will need a lot of meditation. Umeokoka, are you saved? What does being saved mean? It means that Jesus Christ lives in you. It means that that man who said I will die and resurrect on the third day, it means that that man lives in you. That man who died and rose up at will, it means he, he lives in you. But now, if this man lives in you, the way you approach things, does it really portray that there's a master living in you? Because Jesus is a master. Amen? Because, you know, when you are shaken, can I tell you what shakes you? You are shaken by satanic intimidation. Kile kinafanyanga uogope si mungu ni shetani. So when you are acting and you are already afraid, si ibilisi anajua kwamba ile uoga likuuzia umenunua. The devil knows that that fear that they sold. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Everybody makes mistakes. And at times, God leads us into mistake. Because those mistakes will cause greater growth for us tomorrow. God is good. At times you can pray and pray and pray and you invest. You buy this phone thinking that you've made the best decision. Then two, three days you discover something very wrong with it. At times God allows you to go through those experiences to build you for tomorrow. Don't be afraid. Seek the will of God. Move with what it is at your disposal. Musa kaulizo ni nini ukonayo kwa mkono? Mungu hata kubariki kutumia kile hauna. Mungu hata kubariki kutumia ile tayari ya meka kwa mkono wako. I told you in 2010 I was known 
through Facebook first. But mimi kujulikana through Facebook, nilikuwa na neon kika. Enyi nilipewa na boni. Boni yako wapi? Tafadhali usi nipatia neon kika ingine. Ali nipatia ikazeka, kanipatia ingine. You know neon kika? The one that was, it was small like this and it was very strong. Hata yanguke. But by that time, God tells me, I want you to start writing about T.B. Joshua. What you've learned. You see, people think I'm writing about T.B. Joshua, but basically, because every day I have to write something once or twice, it means I, I, in the process I'm remembering. I came to understand later. But I write twice a day. God is good. But you see, when God tells me I want to write about T.B. Joshua, God did not give me a phone. I had that neon kicker that the battery was swollen, imefungwa na blada, sim card imeshikwa na karatasi. Do you understand? Sim card imeshikwa na karatasi kwanza, battery pia imeshikwa na karatasi. Battery hapo mwisho imeiko karatasi, the sim card imekelewa karatasi ndishike vizuri, alafu ikazungushwa na blada tena. Ndio isisambuke. Sema amen. Na nikicharge, nilikuwa naweka charger, alafu naiweka hivi ndio charger itilt kidogo. Sasa nyingine unakuta nimekelea kitu kingine juu. I'm there, that is where I'm writing and typing. And uh, you see there, 2,000 likes. 3,000 likes. Hey! Siku ngini kwanza ikafika 7,000 likes, nikasikia ni kama sasa dunia ime nikubali. But the phone I am using is just that one. Blessed be the name of the Father. Say I will make it. I, will make it. I don't know how. I don't know how. God, knows. God knows. At times it is you to dare to pray overnight. Declaring good things over yourself. Declaring who you are in Christ Jesus. I am the head and not the tail. God showed me a vision of this thing and it shall manifest in Jesus' name. I saw myself preaching to the people of all the nations. It shall happen in Jesus' name. Though I am in this place, though I am in this situation, though I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent, this thing shall manifest in Jesus' name. And at times you go and sleep. Because God has a way he will bless you. Unasikia, my breakthrough in ministry starts from that kind of a phone. That phone I brought it to church some time ago. It is there. Imewekwa. It shall be in the Alan Jomba Museum. In future. That is where it started. Hallelujah. But at times it is not about what you have. But the courage that is in your heart. The willingness to obey. Your attitude has to change. Okay. That is why do not allow people to call you names that are not consistent with God's plan for you. Don't allow people to call. No matter ata kama umekufukuza kazi. Mia... I had this mentality before I got born again. Naenda na kam, I will come back greater than you. That one was built be before even I got born again. Nionyesha madharao leo, I will go, I will disappear from your life. We'll meet in future. Say my amen. Don't be put down based on what you have. Don't disqualify yourself based on what you have. The attitude and ask God to give you the grace. Know yourself. Now, the lion teaches me attitude. The ego teaches me to know who I am. A few things I learned from the ego. You know, vulture utaipata kwa maiti. Ego like ulangi maiti. Afadhali ikae nja. Itajiulia. Something freshly killed. That is what it will eat. Auto ipata kwa chakole nari. Bikata ikue nja na mnagani. You will never see two eagles flying together. Hallelujah. And the realm where the ego will fly, you will not find a raven there. Kungura utaipata hapa. Blessed be the name of the Father. And I learned, the ego knows and values itself. The ego is looking for, uh, for, 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 for a boyfriend to mate. You know that story. Inachukwanga kijiti. Then it goes up. Inairusha. Wee mwanaumu utakimbia kama wazimu. You catch that thing before. The condition uishika kama jenda. Ikifika chini. Yu mwanaumu kia nenda shuguli yake. Wee buwege. Lohole ya. Kuna kitu unaweza. If that thing, it gets, it, it, it picks, and you know, they say that an ego can do that for hours. Kazi ni kuchukuanga kijiti. The male takes it back in the air. Imesha sema, this is the kind of a man I want. Haita fika pali seme mwanaume ni mwanaume. Daughter of Zion, hello? Daughter of Zion, hello? Si ati kubeba biblia tu, abebe biblia na kuwe na kitu kwa gili, ya? Hallelujah. You know, at times they may not have anything, but they have potential. God is good. But they know who you want. I'm not training present worship. The other day I put a post on Facebook that I want, I want a, a keyboardist. They applied from all the way to Tanzania. This guy 
Paul Clemens keyboardist. They applied, they, people applied from biggest stages. And I said, God, thank you. That is what God was using to train. Yet they applied from everywhere. But there was a time I played the keyboard. Hallelujah. There's a time we were hiring the keyboard, 500, Kawangoare. Na siku moja tukakasirika sana, tukasikia kwamba hiyo keyboard Saturday na kwanga imecheza kwa ba. But you make declarations. We said that we never tire that keyboard again. But then I know where I am going. My situation does, has nothing to do with it. Say my man. Say my I am who God says I am. Businessman, the businessman, declare yourself a great businessman. Declare yourself a great businessman. Some unmarried person somewhere, declare yourself a wife or a husband. Si muonge tu badala kusonga songa kwa kitu kukuka. Ni kama mume kutua. Hallelujah. Declare I'm married in Jesus' name. Declare there's someone for me. And I will not lower my standards. In Jesus' name. You are a daughter of God. Your qualification is not your looks. Or you, it's good to have looks. But your qualification is grace. Grace. You are a mighty businessman, not because you are as great as Bill Gates in the mentality of business, but you are great because grace. Say my amen. I do not depend on myself. David, he meets this great man, Goliath, nine foot. Hallelujah. And he tells this man, I will kill you and you will be fooled. Hallelujah. Because you have defied the armies of the Lord. David knows that it is not because of his strength. That he killed a lion and a bear was not the faculty of his strength. But him being one with Jehovah God of Israel. And you know, the Bible says that when he went, a lion caught a lamb. David would chase the lion and grab it and tear it down. And save the lamb. He did not use that thing that he used on Goliath. You understand? Because if God is with you, God will give you the right ammunition for the enemy that you face. So I do not care. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Bring it on. So long as I'm one with God. God is good. Have you got something there, please? Let me see that final point. Hallelujah. This is not my, this reading from here is not my domain. Hallelujah. I talked about discipline, same as discipline. And let me just read a few points on discipline. Hallelujah. And he said, by what is discipline? And uh, number one, you say, discipline is a self-imposed standard for the sake of a higher goal. Discipline, self-imposed standards for the sake of a higher goal. If you have something already, the discipline you need is to maintain it. But you have something great, you want something greater, you will look for where you need to correct your discipline in order to attain it. You understand? If I already have something, my discipline is to maintain it. But if I want something greater, I will need greater discipline that is required for that level or for that realm or for that blessing. Say my amen. amen. I want a ministry that is beyond this place. The number one thing, I need a prayer life that is greater than this place. I need Bible reading that is greater than this place. Hallelujah. I need exposure, listening, greater than for the level that I am at at this place. God is good. God is good. Same discipline. discipline. I was listening to a man of God called Oyedepo from Nigeria. And he said this simple thing. You cannot oversee it if you don't see it. If you're not seeing it, you cannot oversee it. 
Mimi nimeacha tu kazi hapo and you are lazy, you want to go to work at one o'clock, you're trusting your employees, you're, you don't know what is happening in your job, and you expect maximum. Not because you're busy somewhere, just because you're being boss, you will find yourself swimming in defeat. You have to discipline yourself for higher realms, even to maintain, at a year anointing too. Say, hawanganganangi hata kuzuia ile tayari, ile ikombele, wanganganganga kuaribu ile tayari nikonayo. Hallelujah. So discipline. Amen. And this important point, I know it must, it will help somebody, one, two or three of you, in Jesus' name. You must conform to the demands of success. You must conform to the demands of success. If success means you waking up at five, you will not wake up at eight and expect success. If success means you reading one chapter of the Bible a day, you will not read zero chapter and expect the same success. You must conform to the demand of success. You want, hallelujah, you want a successful marriage, you must learn what the Bible says about marriage. Tafadhali, marriage akunanga equality, marriage ni woman humble, husband love. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. I've dealt with these issues, I know. A, a man helps the wife kuchota maji kwa ploti. Next week maji kikuja bibi anauliza kwani leo uchoti maji. <laughs> Hallelujah. You must conform. You want a good marriage. You know there's what you do. You do what depends on you. Alafu ingine wachie bwana. You wachie mungu, not bwana, mungu. Hallelujah. If the Bible says humble, humble, you seek equality because it is the 21st century, you will not have marriage. Are you getting me? Husband, love. Husband is not your work to humble. Your work is to love. That is nonsense. Love your wife. Munulia kanguo. Unajua kuna nguo tavaa mbaya lakini ataivaa ni ni mbaya tu na hata anajua si fashion lakini ataivaa jiwe ndio umenunua. Hello? You want successful marriage. Principle of business will not apply in marriage. You are boss there uko nje nyumbani ukikuja your wife. Sema wife. And I tell you one of the great things about my marriage is that my wife never answers me back. Ai, hata kama nilikuwa mwanaume om. Hata kama nilikuwa bwana. Ai, sikufukuzwa kwetu. <laughs> and can I tell you a secret when you conform to the the the, the Bible? Kuna wakati because I'm a man. Si unajua hata Yesu alikasirika karuraruo watu manyaunyo siku moja. There are times I come and I'm so I, I, I can be Annoyed at something, nakuja niki vibrate tu, kina si upako, asira. Hallelujah. And mama knows what has happened. Mama says, oh, let me not call, let me not say the, way, the name she calls me. I know you start calling me that name. And she says, and she, naseme pole. When you sit down and examine this thing vizuri, he's not pole because he's 100% wrong, but he's pole for the sake of peace. Kwa hiyo kuna wakati unakaanga pole pole na unasema na ukuja hata. Basi hata we pole. <laughs> Because the revelation has come that he was guilty as she is. Hallelujah. But conformity, that is marriage we want success in that marriage. That's the, you conform to the success according to the success that you desire, you conform to it. Say my amen. You want to be a great intellect. Who has ever become a great intellect without passion for reading books? You want to be knowledgeable in business. It is either wende pali ufundisho biyashara, amo kamate vitabu imendiko na watu wa shakuwa kwa biyashara. You cannot pray. You cannot pray alone for business success. Let me not cheat you. Ata anointing you, you pray alone. For no, you have to add something in this head of yours. God is good. You will not quote the, you will not quote the Bible of KRA. That says the Lord. Those who do not have money, come and buy. <laughs> you will not quote that to KRA. Hallelujah. KRA, you need to have that knowledge. Say my amen. So we conform to the demands of success. Hallelujah. And then something 
please, I'm finishing this point on this one. There's something we call arrival mentality that is a destroyer of great destinies. Sema arrival mentality. Unanza kufurahia kale kadogo umepata. Do you understand? I love the Kikuyus for this one. The Kikuyus, this is not a problem so much for the Kikuyus. I was bred, born, bred by the Kikuyus. I became an adult among the Kikuyus, so I know. I, I have a lot of their character also. Hallelujah. When, when we started business at first, the Kikuyu, my Kikuyu brothers used to tell me, hey, we unapenda pesa sana buwan. Now no Kikuyu. God is good. There is a certain discipline, hallelujah, of uh, let the money be at the bank, but ensure the flow of money does not cease. The, the original ones, those of those, I don't know, these days kuna happy mingi sana and they're spoiled. But we used to see people that you will not know that they have money based on their behavior. Anafanyanga kile ametaka na kile kile yaki imeamua. Hata vaa suti jupesa imeongezeka. Hata amua tu kama ni hii, nerusi watu nafaku vaa suti and they will wear suit. But will not wear suit because money has come. Hallelujah. Will not change, will not take a loan to look like other people, to drive a Range Rover like other people. God is good. Ukwata ni meenda mbali sana. There are those of us here. Arrival mentality. You buy a good bed and you sleep. But what got you here is prayer. Saa sita usiku luko naomba. Now you get a bed and you enjoy it. No sema Jehovah. Ay nasikia ata nikulilie. Mungu kumbe kuwa na pesa ni vizuri hivi. Nikijisikuma kwa godoro inanirudisha juu. You enjoy it before time. God is good. There were times where if you buy blue... You, you buy a blue mattress. Nowadays they are fake. But those days, hapa kangemi ukinunua blanket ya blue, unajua kuna shortcut na tokanga stage na ipiti hapa kati toke hapa. So mtu anaweza pita shortcut, lakini akinunua blanket ya mattress ya blue, atazunguka barabara, kama meshika kwa mgongo. Watajua aje na lalia magodoro ya blue. You see, that is nonsense already. You are enjoying small blessing. God wants you to buy beds for children's homes in future, but you're already enjoying blue mattress for 4,000. God is good. Sema, no matter what I get, there is more out there. I have a friend who was called Hariji. He's still alive. And I told Hariji is a musician. Alikuwa na sema, those days of tape, radio cassette, alikuwa na, yeah, alikuwa na uzanga miya moja. Alikuwa na sema, miki tebea kwa barabara watu, na unanga kila mtu kwa yangu. Everybody, mkila mtu wakona soo yangu. Akuja, auze tape 40,000. Akuja mwage pesa jion. You know 40,000 kuza tapes, miya miya 40,000 tape ngapi umeuza. Na akuja seme, lakini kuna watu wameenda na miya zangu. Kuna watu walinishinda kukonvince. Hallelujah. No matter how much they get, kesho atamka asubui, enda river road, fanya duplication and step out. Kila mtu wakona soo yako. That's a good attitude for success. Hallelujah. I thank God for what I have, but there's more out there. Amen. Drive the good car, but always remember there are better cars out there. Thank God for your house, but there are better houses. Thank God for that school that you can able to afford for your children. Wanza kufura kifu hapa kwa sababu ya shule kaya kangemi hapa. There are schools, they are better. God will help you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Take care of yourself. Say my amen. Hallelujah. Then the final point. Can I give you the final point? Yes. Work of faith. Sama work of faith. And I lock, close that thing. Work of faith. Sama work of faith. Work of faith. This is what I call seed. Do you mean me say you seed? Let me just speak it. Seed. Sama seed. In the scripture, anytime, Kwanza, if you look at somebody like Abraham, Mungu wali muangelesha marakadha, God talked to him several times, and these several times, every time, there was a sacrifice he gave because of the word that God has spoken. Now, in this year, year in age, wa kriso wamedanganyo, utatoleshu ambegu, that is not scriptural, but it is because you look at the man of God as a broker. The man of, the, the man of God is the one who holds the man of God can receive money from you, a seed. But this seed is based on you and a covenant between you and God. 
now that we are going into a new year, everybody in scripture, when God spoke a new season, angalia Gideon, angalia, when God spoke that things are about to change, mtu ni kukimbia ni kimbia kaleta sadaka kaweka mbele ya mungu. Hallelujah. So I say, have a work of faith for what you are trusting God for. A work of faith is something give, and this one is not about the amount. It is about what this money or what this sacrifice means to your heart. Say my amen. A work of faith for what you believe or what you are trusting God for. Kwa na tendo la imani. Mungu nataka kwenda ngambo, njiangu ifunguke. Hii sadaka yangu ya siri ni mia tu baba, lakini unajua imia ni nini kwangu. It is only hundred, but you know what this hundred means. God, I'm trusting you for a job. Na sadaka ineza kosa kuwa pesa. God, I'm trusting you for a job. I'm going to give myself to work. We have friendly people in the children's home now. Ambo uneza uko ngelesha na ukafanya kazi vizuri sana uko. And uh, as we mpaka jioni, you are still telling God, God, this is my seed for the job that I'm trusting you for. Hii pesa ni konayo ni madharao. I'm giving myself as a living sacrifice. A work of faith for what you're trusting God for. That completes it. Every time God spoke a blessing, read the scripture, they told the angel, wait, I'm going to get a blessing. But as I receive, I receive. <laughs> when God speaks, have a work of faith for that which God has spoken. God, I believe your word. Here is my offering. Clap for Jesus very well. So my people work, prepare to work. We are believing but work. We are trusting God to work. Be diligent. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Can we say a prayer? You know, what such teachings is supposed to provoke is our weakness. Sema my weakness. Mafunzo kama haya, kile hufa kutibua, niwewe kuangalia udhaifu wako. You have not been diligent. You have not been sowing seed even when God speaks to you privately. Your attitude, you are afraid, unaogopanga, unababaikanga. This thing shows a lot of weakness. So weakness is just supposed to lead us to pray to God. You know, that man of the demon-possessed boy told Jesus, I believe, help my unbelief. Na amini lbwana, lakini saidia udhaifu wangu. Saidia kutuwa amini kwangu. Because he knew that he has a faith, he has a belief that cannot help him. Now, in this season, in this first day, before we start praying for business breakthrough, we pray for our attitude. God, give me an attitude of a lion Give me the attitude. I know the Lion of Judah is in me. I should have an attitude greater than a lion. Because the Lion of Judah is in me. The only two animals God compares himself with in the scripture is the ego and the lion. Because of their character. Only two animals. Mungu anajilinganisha katika Biblia. Mwewe na Simba. God should give you the focus of an ego. God should give us courage. Focus. Tell God I am willing but I am weak. Help me. And of those things that I've spoken, ata uneza angalia not zako, even as you pray, look at your point and tell God, here I need help. Lord, here I need help.
Talk to God from your heart. When we talk about something like attitude, you can tell God, if it is demonic, God help me to get rid of this attack. Your attitude, it may be an attack, the spirit of fear. Tell God I'm willing, but I'm weak. Help me. Ni wewe wakuabudiwa ni wewe Ni wewe wakuabudiwa ni wewe Wakupewa sifa na utukufu heshima ni wewe Remember where we started the point we started kuna vitu zitakuja kulingana na vile we unabadilika there are things that will come based on what you are becoming tell jesus to help you to transform yourself tell jesus to help you transform your prayer life to transform your bible reading to transform your commitment niambia bwana nisaidie kuondoa udhaifu bwana nikaweza kufikia baraka ambayo iko juu yangu i told you there are blessings that will come but not to this version of you not the version of you that is here now there's a transformation that needs to take place i said talk to jehovah ongelesha bwana mwambie because kama ni udhaifu wako kama si uchawi ni udhaifu wako inabidi ushughulikie udhaifu wako it is not witchcraft it is you you have to work on you Amen. A few weeks ago I told you of a testimony. I don't know if I told you I was telling the people, the servants, that, you know, I know giving will lead to me receiving. Say my amen. But then there's something else I discovered. There was a time I was expecting to, to give and to sow to receive. But then I worked all night doing editing. And when I woke up in the morning, I found a lot of money kwa simu yangu. And I was editing. That is number one. 
Number two, there's a time I decided to listen to preachers. Skiza Benin, Skiza Uyakilome, Skiza Selman, Skiza Uyedepoa, Deboye. Listen, and I listened, and I listened, and I listened, and four hours into the listening, Pesa ikanza kukuja kwa simu. Money just comes. You know there's times in which you know, I Ama kuna namba yangu ina spread pali. Then ask God, what is this thing? And the Lord tells me there's blessing that comes to diligence. Somebody get that one. There's a blessing that comes to diligence. When you're just diligently doing what you are supposed to do, and God started to release something, starts to release something, many people wako kwa ile form ya sina kitu ya kufanya for this season. But look, what can you, there's something that you can, there's an area that you can touch to improve yourself, that in heaven will be regarded as work. And the Bible says that he who does not work should not eat. He who works should eat. My mentor, Prophet Ibiyosha, used to say, when you are not able to do what you should, do what you can. And doesn't the scripture say, so in the morning, in the evening, don't let your, do not let your hand be idle, for you do not know which one will prosper. So you see, many of you, mumesha pokea maumbi ya kutosha, ya kukufikisha kwa billionaire. But what remains is work on yourself. Please, enda nyumbani na pambana na we mwenyewe. Okay? Go home, because the atmosphere ambayo yiko hapa, is the atmosphere of grace. People get healed instantly. That is the same grace that can give you millions. But God says that he gives these things to people who work diligent. You work on yourself. Enda na hi wazo. I'm cutting short prayers. Because this one is a takeaway message more than to pray here. It's a takeaway message. There are blessings written on you that will not come to this version of you. Beba yo. Na yo ata wende u fast. 50 days. If it is the version of you that needs change, that fasting it away kwa pending pahali. It will work in future if you decide to transform. I am a man of prayer. I believe in prayer changing things. But I know at times the constraint that we meet is not a demonic attack, but an act of God. At times, the limitation we face is not an attack, but a limitation, but an act of God. Hallelujah. To wait for you to get to the realm where you are supposed to have that blessing. Kuna kitu njie imefungika kabisa, and no demon is involved. It is the version of you that needs to change. Hallelujah. Si mungu wabariki. Mungu wabariki. God is good.